the National Human Resource Planning and Development Department was established in the year 2008 as a result of ministerial reorganization that was sanctioned by the then Directorate of Personnel Management. It came about as a result of the split of the larger Department of Human Resource Management and Employment. The main mandate is to provide Kenyans with up-to-date, accurate, and reliable labor market information. And this involves a number of things. For instance, we do carry out research, what we call the surveys, to determine the skills that are in the labor market. And this can be on a sectoral basis, various sectors in the economy, like the energy sector, the agriculture sector, the health sector, housing, as many as they are in the economy. The Ministry of Labor, through the Directorate of National Human Resource, Planning and Development, DNHRPD, is mandated to collect and analyze data on manpower, supply and demand from local institutions and establishments. The manpower supply gives data on skills emerging from local institutions, whereas the demand side gives information relating to establishments in the labor market. Using the layman's language, when we do what we call the, the labor forecasts, we would want to understand in the next three years, how many number of teachers do we need in Kenya? So that we are able to train the number of teachers that can be absorbed in the teaching fraternity. The same goes for the doctors. The same goes to even the semi-skilled professions like the welders. Currently we are having an acute shortage of welders, electricians, so that we just don't concentrate on the, on the high-end degrees and then we neglect the, the other skills that are really needed uh, in a growing economy like ours. In order to clear the gap that might be there of skills, because the gap in skills constitute unemployment. Yeah, when maybe a job seeker has skills that are not employable, that one may render him unemployed. At the same time, when uh, a industry may require skills that are not there. So it, it becomes a, a problem. It may lead to people being employed to do jobs that they are not trained to, to do. We also do what we call the informal sector skills, sector occupation survey. So the main reason why we really wanted to carry out this survey is to find out, one, the skills that the people who are in the informal sector have, the occupations. You see, an occupation is people performing the same jobs or the same work, and they are lumped together as an occupation. And we also wanted to find out the, the shortfalls in the skills, their ICT capacity, and basically, the challenges they are facing. The development is currently carrying out survey of skills and occupation prevalent to informal sector to provide information on occupations and earnings, opportunities that are available in the sector and those that attract more earning as compared to formal sector. We want them to know that in the informal sector you can earn and even earn better than uh, people in the formal sector by Providing all occupations that are found in the informal sector. At the same time, we maintain a document, a very important document called the Training Master File. The Training Master File has a list, it's, it's like a directory of training uh, institutions. It has a list of all training institutions in Kenya, where they are located, their capacity, uh, the kind of programs they train and also the cost per program and the period the program takes and so on. So anything to do with training, you'll find it in, a, in that tra uh, uh, training master file. We also maintain a very important uh, document called uh, the Kenya National Occupation Classification Standards. It's also a director of uh, occupations in Kenya they can compare with other occupations internationally. Now, that document is used by employers to set wage levels 
and also to classify occupations even when you, are, you, you want to advertise. Initially, we used to produce reports, hard copies, and disseminate the hard copies to institutions or to stakeholders and also holding of conferences to discuss at port. But these days, we have come up with a, a computer-based website called the Kenya Labor Market Information System. You can access it through www.labormarket.co.ke. Actually, this system is one of the flagship projects of the Commission 2013. You know, because the country needed to have a robust and working system that can inform anybody who wants to know anything about the Kenya labor market. And also, we have come up with a communication strategy to inform Kenyans of the existence of that system. And it's also an archive of any information, anything that has been done by the ministry and by the department. You want to, anything to do with the labor laws. For example, people don't understand the labor laws and where to get them, the various labor acts and where to get them. But when you come into this system, you are going to be able to find all of that within one tab. In fact, we do face a lot of challenges. And the first challenge we face is the suspicion. People out there don't understand the importance of this. Right now, sometimes we uh, partner with the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics to use their legal framework to get information. At the same time, we persuade people to give us information. They don't know the importance of giving out information. We didn't want to uplift our youth and we want to create jobs though not so directly because whatever we are doing we are going to work with the government of the day but at the end of the day it is for the benefit of of the Kenyans so that we can have income generating activity. Another challenge is that uh, our department the National Human Resource Planning and Development is sometimes confused with the uh, human resource management function but our function is quite different because Ours is about uh, manpower planning. What we require is uh, economists, we require planners, we require uh, statisticians, because most of the time we analyze data, we produce reports, and so on. The National Human Resource Planning and Development Department works towards disseminating maintenance and provision of up-to-date, reliable and accurate labor market information accessible to all Kenyans.